hi guys welcome back to a new video as you guys can see i made this beautiful um makeup look get a close-up i don't know if you guys can tell but let me know in the comment section below if you guys like or prefer a talk through tutorial makeup tutorial or a voiceover um so yeah this is gonna be a full phase of makeup new makeup so i'm excited to do this um so i'm using well i created this makeup look with nyx ultimate uh shadow palette in festival so this is this is the eyeshadows these shadows guys are so pigmented so if you guys want to see how i created this really easy makeup look then keep on watching if you guys are new please go subscribe give me a thumbs up and share the video that helps me my youtube channel so it it can be suggested to more people so let's begin so i'm going to prime the eye i'm using the nyx jumbo eye pencil uh let's see what is this in in milk i mean i don't always prime the eyes but you guys can um by priming them it helps okay, hold on. by priming them it helps just so your eyeshadows can last longer and a white base just also helps when you are using colorful eyeshadows so they can like pop more so there you guys go so the first shade we are taking is a black the black eyeshadow so this is gonna go on the outer And see how how pigmented it is. Now we're going to take the purple and then pink. Tapping off the excess helps so you don't get any or less fallout. Okay, now take the pink. For pink, I'm taking two different pinks from the bottom. And now what I you want to do is blend this out oh and i forgot i should have done my eyebrow okay 
Okay, blend this out. So there's no harsh lines. I know the main question I always get is they're like you blend so well like I have a hard time blending and I mean it's so easy to blend guys like when blending you just want to make sure you're blending without like a clean brush without adding any eyeshadow but then to blend it fully also you could grab whatever shades you want to blend with usually a lighter color like i'll be using uh like a peachy pink with some yellow or you can grab some like a a matte white shade So just like that, um, before adding that blending shade, let's do our eyebrows. So I'm using, this is the Brow Styler from Benefit. I got it in cool gray. This, I guess it's a two-in-one. So once I has you know your your pencil and then the powder is to like fill in your eyebrows so let's go in with this first and I thought because it says cool gray that it wouldn't match my brow hairs but it actually does guys i don't think i would go with the black i'm not sure what other colors they have okay take your powder and fill in those like Spots. I don't bring it all the way to the front. Then you want to grab a spoonie and blend. This eyebrow is always the hardest for me to fill in my eyebrow. Okay, now I'm taking this concealer from CoverGirl. It's the Clean Fresh. Um, and it's a hydrating concealer and this is in the shade light medium i literally i always forget well, not always. I for I can't believe I forgot to do my eyebrows first. Well, at least on this side. Okay, 
just like that. Blend. So let's take that yellow and that peachy shade. and do it to your liking now I'm taking the purple on the bottom and then take your black Okay, now to highlight the inner corner, taking one of the shimmers. Use this for your brow bone highlight too. Okay, now for setting spray, I bought this at Ulta, it's the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray Ultra Matte Finish Hole Finish with Aloe and Vitamin E. I've never tried this, I've seen a lot of people use this and this is the matte one but I wonder if they have a, a dewy one I think I'm going to find one of my new favorite setting sprays. Okay, for foundation, well, okay. For foundation, I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Effortless Effect Medium Coverage. This is a hydrating foundation. I don't have a new matte one. But this one is infused with hyaluronic acid to boost hydration. Acai berry and pomegranate extracts help to even skin tone appearance. Antioxidant vitamin E helps protect from free radical damage. And I grabbed medium to tan warm. So we're going to prime the eyes. I have this hard candy, silicone free. It says it's a for poor defense, all day wear combat pores. Poor defense primer minimizes the appearance of pores, oil free and silicone free. So yeah, let's, let's put this on you guys know i'm not much of primers but i want to try primers now because i do have big pores so if this is if primers will help then that's good so yeah let's put this on Well, I have to. Okay. I want to focus this like on my nose. Everywhere where I have big pores, usually my nose is the area where I have the most 
pores. And then my foundation kind of creases on my, I guess you could say, kind of chin dimples. And then you, I've heard you have to let your primers set. So let it set for a little bit. And then go in with your foundation. Okay, I think you guys can see me. Um, I'm taking effortless, like I said, the foundation. So let's take this. I know some of you guys have said to use um, makeup by Mario. But I don't know how I feel because I've heard like mixed reviews about them. And they say that if you have very oily skin, they don't recommend you using makeup by Mario. I won't say that I have very oily skin. But I do tend to get very oily on my G-Zone. So I don't know if I want to give it a try. I kind of want to try Essence. I guess they they are coming out or they came out with the foundation that is like a dupe for them. So yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go in with this concealer, like I said, by CoverGirl. Does feel creamy. We're going to take Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is in the shade of what is this in? Deep Bronzer. I've actually never tried Physicians Formula Bronzer. Okay. I feel like this is a little bit too light for my skin. I don't know, can you guys even tell? I think maybe for my nose it's good.
Okay. For blush. Okay, I don't know how I feel about cream blushes, but this is from Maybelline. It's the gel cream blush in Fuchsia Spark. It's a sheer flush of color, natural looking dewy, lightweight, breathable feel, water-based formula, oil free. The Beauty Blender. Grabbing this. Mm, I don't know, you guys tell me, I feel like beauty blender kind of takes it away mm. I don't think I like it I think it's better if you blend it with your hand. Munch. Okay, for highlight, let's take this is the 20. Okay, guys, I don't know what happened, but I cut off. So I was using the Hard Candy 24 Gold Highlighter. Now for lashes, I don't know what company this is from, but they had collabed with me and they made some eyelashes in my name. So these are in the name Yesenia. Look at that packaging, so pretty. I am so thankful. I know I, I never showed you guys, but it's been... It's been a while from this lashes so let's put on the glue and I'll be right back okay this lash glue is uh, this one isn't clear but it's from Miss Labor Beauty your eyelashes I know everyone struggles with eyelashes but you'll just kind of put your mirror on the bottom and place it close to your Lash, lash line. I don't know if you guys can even see a difference. 
these are so light I kind of prefer a thicker uh, lash band I feel like if they're thicker they kind of last longer Okay. You can't even fill them. So okay, you could add a little bit more mascara to blend them in. They're so long. Okay, now for lips. I'm going to take this. This is from the Color Workshop lipstick. It doesn't have a name, or does it? Libea? Libea. I don't know. It's this chain. We're going to put lip liner. The lip liner I'm using is this from NYX and Bloom. Okay, now take your lipstick. Okay. Well, there you guys go. Let me show you guys a better close-up. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up and let me know what other makeup or products you guys want me to try love you guys